the kind of fella that would take the good and the bad and try to put it for the good to anybody else around him. Family and friends demand justice in the death of Larry Starnes. Just yesterday, he was riding his motorcycle. He was hit from behind by someone in a red truck, having right in front of a Seneca church on Wells Highway. And now thousands of dollars in rewards are being offered to get some information that can lead to an arrest in this case. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford spoke to those who knew and loved Larry. And Nicole, his death has shaken the whole community. Yeah, Gordon, so the scene of that tragedy is right here in front of Grace Baptist Church and also right in front of this sign reading, Why do bad things happen to good people? A message that's been up for six weeks, but a message that will soon change on Sunday after these words ring true to the people of this community. All it takes is a little bit of leather and a passion for God to get in with this crew. It was just an avenue for all of us to hang around. We had something in common. We were able to, to build a, a brotherhood together, but we were also able to go out and serve uh, our community. Larry Starnes was one of those brothers. Not a word that I use often, but my wife does. He was a sweet man. A recovering alcoholic who'd found his purpose within the Bikers for Christ in Oconee County. He was out putting flyers out for an event that we've got upcoming. Spreading his message in front of the place that had become home. When tragedy struck. He actually died doing something that he really, really loved. He loved to ride. Troopers say a red pickup truck struck Larry right outside Grace Baptist Church before driving off. We all feel some anger. There's just no way out of it. But these biker brothers are confident justice will be served. The best thing to do is just remember Larry and and the love he had for all of us. So as they head out. She meant so much to me. With one less bike in view. I would have to say it is a definite tragic loss for the community. Their fellow rider will always be on their minds. Larry's gonna leave a legacy. And when you leave a legacy, when you give to others, it's not necessarily a loss. Though we're separated from Larry now, and we miss him, the legacy that he has left it's an addition to the community. Now there is a $2,000 reward out for any information on the driver who hit Larry, but while they wait to find that person, the community is rallying behind him and coming out here to Grace Baptist Church tonight for a candlelight vigil starting at 730. We're live in Seneca tonight, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, thanks. They have made funeral arrangements in this case. Visitation is Monday at 10 at Grace Baptist Church. The service starts at noon. The family tells us they will hold a biker funeral. That means they're asking bikers around the upstate to come out and support their fellow rider. Tonight, family